anatomy, there are four different types of tissues. Epithelial, connective, muscular, and nervous. Our first type of tissue is epithelial tissue. Description. It covers body surfaces, organs, blood vessels, and lines body cavities. It is also tightly packed. Epithelial tissue readily divides, producing new cells to replace old damaged ones, and it lacks blood vessels. Function. It has two types of functions. Externally, it protects the body from drying out, injury, and bacterial invasion. Internally, it protects, sweeps up impurities, secretes mucus, and absorbs. There are two types of epithelial tissues, simple epithelial, which is composed of a single layer of cells, and stratified epithelial, composed of two or more layers of cells. More specifically, there are six different types of epithelial tissue. As you can see in our chart below, they each have their own description, function, and location. Please take a moment and pause the video to look over our chart. Our second type of tissue is connective tissue. Function. Binds structures together, provides support and protection, fills spaces, produces blood cells, and stores fat for energy, insulation, and organ protection. Structure. Tissue cells are widely separated by an extracellular matrix. It can be solid, semi-solid, or liquid. Matrix of connective tissue determines its properties. Now let's talk about the fibers of the matrix. There's white fibers, and they contain collagen, which gives the fibers flexibility and strength. Yellow fibers contain elastin, which is more elastic than collagen, but not as strong, and reticular fibers, which are thin, highly branched collagenous fibers that provide support. Getting into connective tissue, you will learn that there are three types of fibrous connective tissues, loose areolar connective tissue, dense connective tissue, and reticular connective tissue. Loose areolar connective tissue lies between other tissues or between organs binding them. Their cells are made of fibroblasts, which are large and star-shaped. They contain many white fibers and yellow fibers. Adipose is a type of this tissue. They, it stores fat and provides insulation. These are found beneath skin, around kidneys, heart, and breasts. Our second type of fibrous connective tissue is dense connective tissue. There are two types of dense connective tissues. Regular, which consists of parallel bundles of collagenous fibers. It's found in tendons and ligaments and binds organs together. And irregular, bundles run in different directions and is found in the inner portion of the skin. Our third type of fibrous connective tissue is reticular connective tissue. Reticular connective tissue has reticular cells and reticular fibers. It's also called lymphatic tissue. It's found in lymph nodes, the spleen, the thymus, and red bone marrow. It stores and produces white blood cells and is part of the immune system. Another type of connective tissue is cartilage. Now, in cartilage, the cell chondrocytes lie in small chambers called lacunae. The matrix is solid yet flexible, and there is a lack of direct blood supply. As a result, it heals slowly. There are three types of cartilage, hyaline, elastic, and fibrocartilage. Please take a moment to pause our video and look over our chart for description and location of each types of cartilage. Now surprisingly, our last connective tissue is the bones. Bones are most rigid of the connective tissues and are made of minerals and protein fibers which give bones rigidity, elasticity, and strength. There are two types of bones, compact and spongy. All right, finally moving on to a new tissue, we come to muscular tissue. There are three types of muscular tissues, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Please take a moment to look over our chart for each different types of muscular tissues, appearance, location, and control. Our next tissue is nervous tissue. The ultimate control of all the organ systems is done by the nervous system. Function, controls and coordinates all bodily function and responds to stimuli, internal and external. Location, brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. The cells that transmit messages, impulses, are called neurons. One might ask, what is a neuron exactly? Well, to answer that, we'll break down the structure of a neuron. Dendrites extend from the cell body and carry impulses from the environment toward the cell body. The largest part of a typical neuron is the cell body. It contains the nucleus and much of the cytoplasm. The axon is the long fiber that carries impulses away from the cell body. The axon is sometimes surrounded by an insulating membrane called the myelin sheath. There are gaps in the myelin sheath called nodes where the membrane is exposed. Impulses jump from one node to the next. Impulses are then passed to the next cell through the axon terminals.